What's going on guys? It's Brian with Slinging Sticks Adventures and today I'm here to talk to you about ice axes. This is something that uh, I've recently picked up uh, for this year and I'll tell you what, there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, at first I'm like, man, I'm not a, I'm not climbing Everest or anything like that. And you don't have to be that guy to own something like this. Um, this is actually a real handy tool for backpack hunting. This is just a black diamond, uh, titanium or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Um, I spray painted it myself and I put this leash on it. And this is actually for cutting snow steps. Uh, put it like this in your hand. It won't, uh, it won't swing past your hand. It gives you a little bit more control. And if you were to drop it, you're not going to drop it back down the mountain. Um, but some of the things that I use an ice axe for, I know a lot of us, you know, setting up a tent, sometimes you can't find a really good level spot to sleep and it's really uncomfortable. The ground's really uneven, um, stuff like that. This, this, this head right here makes quick work of, of cutting out a bank for yourself. Um, cut your, dig yourself out a flat spot, no problem. Make it real comfortable. Another thing you can also use it for is if it's raining real hard and, and maybe you got a floorless shelter or you know you just have a, a three season tent and you weren't expecting it and you do have something like this, you can cut your trenches out around your tent way easier with this than you could a rock or something. Um, it's really good for clearing out shrubs and brush, small stuff you know around your campsite um, if you want to and you can also use it as a trekking pole. Um, it's, it's only, uh, if I take my hand, I know you guys can't see this, but if I take my hand, like extend my shoulder, my hand all the way down, relaxed, it should come to about my ankle bone. That's about how long this is. So from the end of my hand to this point is right at my ankle bone. Um, going up steep hills, not a problem. Doing some sketchy stuff on a side hill, doing work with it works great. Um, one thing I would say to everybody that's using it for backpack hunting, this dude right here is freaking sharp. Uh, you don't want to be just sticking that in your backpack or leaving that hanging out or whatever. You go to sit down and you swing it around, that thing catches you in the foot or the leg or your gear or anything like that. Um, they, they do sell caps for them. I just took some real thick uh, shrink tubing and made a cap for it pretty stiff that way when I go to put this in my bag or my tent or wherever uh, that point is protected at all times and I'm not punching holes through things I don't want to punch holes through um, so if you guys are thinking about getting an ice axe I would I I personally I've only used it a handful of times so far I got it kind of late in the season but uh, it's pretty nice uh, makes makes sleeping uh, a lot more enjoyable uh, when you can clean out a bed and make it nice and flat and uh, it works as a trekking pole too so it's something that you might be able to swap out a trekking pole set for um, try it out see what you think I think they're like a hundred bucks uh, and this is again this is a black diamond I can't remember the name of it but try them out I think you guys will like them especially if you're hunting in rocky terrain and, and the, the ground's just not uh, applicable for sleeping you can carve yourself out a, a bed especially if it's an emergency and you're on a real steep side hill you can dig yourself a fairly flat surface on a steep mountain and uh, put yourself in a like a deer bed if you will so maybe check them out maybe see if it's for you it's for me it'll definitely be in my pack this next season till next week guys